Okay. Hi friends, this is Ramesh Raj, Kakatiya, lecturer in economics, Kakatiya Graduate Student College, National Bridge. Today, we are discussing the second year economics, the class number three. Okay, now the basis on capital per capita income and standard of living and availability of natural resources based on the countries are divided in two types. There are divided in two types. Number one, developed countries. Developed countries and developing countries. The based on per capita income, standard of living, and availability of natural resources are based. The all countries are divided in two types: the developed countries and developed countries. The developed countries and developing countries. Okay. The developed countries. The developed countries are also called as high income countries, industrial, industrialist countries, and modern countries. This is today we have discussed the, the characteristics of developing countries. The developing countries are also called as poor income countries, poor countries and low level of income countries and in the and agricultural based countries and third world countries okay now the characteristics of developing countries the first of all low level of income the developing countries the important characteristics of low level of income. The low level of income, for example, in India, 1995-96, in India's per capita income 9,300 rupees. 2013 and 14, the India's per capita income 22,000 rupees. They compare to the developed countries, for example, USA, United States of America, the, the America per capita income for annum $53,750. They compare to the developed countries, the developing countries, the important character, low level of income. For example, in India, 1995-96. The India's per capita income 9,300 rupees. At 2013-14, the India's per capita income 22,000 rupees. The India's rank per capita income one tenth rank the worldwide 133 ranks. 133 countries India's rank 1101 tenth rank. Therefore, the developed countries, the developing countries, main character, low level of income. And second one, the capital deficiency. The capital deficiency also one of the important characteristics of developing countries. The saving capacity only 15% to 20% the developing countries. The main reason, the income, the per capita income low level, Therefore, the seven saving capacity also low level. The saving capacity also low level. Therefore, the investment also very lowest investment. These are important character of developing country. And next one, the demographic characteristics. Demographic characteristics also important character the developing countries. The developing countries, the Medical facilities are improved. The medical facilities are improved. Therefore, the high birth rate, the high birth rate, the low death rate, because because the population growth rate very very the population growth rate is very high. This is called as population explosion in India. For example, in India, according to 2011, according to 2011, the India's population 121 crores. 121 crores in India according to 2011. 
the rate of worldwide population in India, 17.5% of the population, the India's population was 17.5%, the worldwide population. The worldwide highest population, the place of India, the second place of India, now the first place China and the second place India. The same, the land area, the land area, the worldwide land, the worldwide land, the India's worldwide 2.4% of land area in the worldwide. The rank of seventh rank in India's rank seventh rank worldwide land area. Okay, the per annum, the growth rate of population, the growth rate of population per annum 1.84 percent per annum increase. The population increase 1.84 percent per annum in India. And next, the important another important of characteristics predominance of agriculture sector. The developing countries are also called as agricultural countries. More than people depend on agriculture sector. For example, in India, according to 2010, 2010 and 2011, the total population, the working population, 51.1 percent people engaged on agriculture sector. According to 2010-11, the 51.1 percent people engaged in agriculture. At the same time, the GDP, the GDP percentage, the GDP percentage of agriculture, just 13.9 percent of GDP, the agricultural percentage, only 13.9 percent. Okay. Now next, the technological backwardness. The technological background is also one of the important characteristics of developing countries. Okay, the main reason, backwardness is main reason, the low level of investment of resources. For example, for example, the Japan, the country of Japan, the total expenditure, the national income is 3% of income, the total national income expenditure 3 percent of national income, expenditure of research and development and technological development in investment of 3 percent. In India, in India just 0 0.82 percent of investment the research and development. These reasons are backwardness, technological backwardness. Okay, and next one, in uh, inadequate infrastructure facilities. The main infrastructure facilities, for example, electricity, electricity and transport and communication. The main, the main infrastructure facilities, electricity, transport and communication. These are, these are slowly, low, the slowly developed, the slowly developed infrastructure facilities. These reasons are. They all sectors, agriculture sector and industrial sector, service sector, these reasons are the all sectors are backwardness. Okay, now the high rate of illiteracy. High, high rate of illiteracy. For example, in India, according to 2011, the literacy rate, the total literacy rate only 74%. In male literacy rate, the male literacy rate 82.14 percent, female literacy rate 65.46 percent only. The compared to developed countries, the developed countries 100 percent of literacy rate. The compared to literacy, the developing countries low level of low level of literacy rate or high rate of illiteracy. Okay, and next one. High infant mortal rate, infant mortal rate, it is calculated at the ratio of, at the ratio of the thousand born children, thousand born children. For example, in India, according to 2011, 22 east thousand, 22 east thousand, the compared to developed countries, in developed countries, only seven children dead. 7 East 1000. This is one of the important characteristics of developing, developing countries. And next one, tradition, born and attitude. In India, so many, so many religious, so many castes, so many subcasts are 
these reasons are the modern technology the modern uh, methods are not implemented these reasons are the developing countries are backwardness and finally giant family system this is also one of the important characteristics of developing country backwardness the main reason this is no mobilization mobility 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 means a person a laborer one place to another place transfer to one place to another place these reasons are the these reasons are the labor mobilization or not mobilization this is the important characteristics of developing countries but again the main character is low level of income the low level of compared to the developed countries in developed countries for example usa united states of america for annum 53750 dollars in india 1995-96 just 9300 rupees in 2013-14 22000 rupees the total countries in worldwide india's rank one tenth rank and next one capital deficiency this is also one of the important the capital deficiency main reason low level of per capita income the low level of per capita income these reasons are the same capacity also level low level for example the 15 percent to 20 percent only and after demographic trend, demographical characteristics the developing countries the medical facilities are improved then the high birth rate low death rate because the population growth rate is very high is called as population explosion for example in india's in india's population according to 2011 121 crores in india population the total worldwide population the percent of india 17.5 percent of india's population in the worldwide the rank of second rank the first place of china the second india at the same time the land area in the land area worldwide 2.4 percent of land area in india the rank of seventh rank in the worldwide the first place russia second place canada third place china fourth place america fifth place brazil and sixth place australia the seventh place of india the land areas and next predominance of agriculture sector the developing countries are also called as agricultural countries the many populations are depending on agriculture sector for example in india 2010 11 the 51.1% percent of people engaged in agriculture sector at the same time the gdp in the gdp 13.9% of share the gdp agriculture sector and next one technological backwardness the backwardness main reason the low level of investment on research and development and technology for example in japan the total the total income national income in national income three percent of income investment the research and development and technology in india just 0.82 percent of investment on development and research these reasons are technological backwardness the developing countries and next one in our equity infrastructure facilities infrastructure facilities backwardness the slowly development for example the main infrastructure facilities electricity transport and communication this is very very important to the countries develop in india this low level of the slowly developing these reasons are all sectors the agriculture sector, industrial sector, and service sectors also slowly developing. Okay, and next one, high rate of illiteracy. Okay, in India, the 74 percent of literacy rate in India according to 2011. In male literacy rate, 82.14 percent. The female literacy rate, 65.46 percent. The compared to developed countries, in developed countries, 100 percent of literacy rate. But in India or developing countries, the low level of low rate of illiteracy rate. Now, the high infant mortal rate. Infant mortal rate means it is calculated the ratio of deaths among thousand burned children. In India, according to 2011, the 22 is 1000. But 
in developing countries the seven percent only seven is thousand okay these reasons are the main reason the main reason okay the main reason medical facilities inadequate medical facilities and inadequate medical facilities and slows a poor sanitization and uh, okay these reasons are in fact mortal rate very high and uh, next tradition bonds and attitude in india so many religious so many caste so many sub caste these reasons are modern technology modern uh, methods are not implemented in india or developing countries and finally joint family system the joint family system also one of the main characters of developing country backwardness is the main reason the mobilization this is not mobilization in india these reasons are these reasons are characteristics of developing countries okay this is very 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 important this is very very important question the final exam this is compulsory 10 marks okay thank you